All right, so in today's adventure, what are we doing? Plus, we are observing moles. Yeah, in today's adventure, we are uh, splitting in the wood. Yeah, in the uh, Sankra Animal Park, basically. And we are staying in the Wolf's Hamlet. So the whole adventure will be over two days. Uh, we'll go there, we'll visit uh, the park, which is, well, the animal park. It's kind of a natural reserve uh, for a few, uh, well, animal species that are not like, uh, that you cannot see everywhere. Uh, there are different types of accommodation. We got that one last minute. Uh, so we got a really good deal uh, price-wise. So in this uh, adventure, what you will discover is the, of course, a full tour of the lodge, a visit of the animal park. And well, actually a lot of the lodge because uh, we spend a lot of time here trying to chase, uh, not to chase, but to see the wolves. We spend the night here. Yeah. But even yesterday evening, the whole like two days morning, like, That's you know. the point yeah. staying in this lot. Yeah, yeah. We didn't spend too much time in the park, but really tried to be in the lodge to see them. Well, and we saw them a lot, actually. It was quite amazing. Uh, last night, they came super close. They went like all over. Um, all around? All around, yeah. Actually, where we are staying in that uh, Wolf Summit, there are uh, six lodges. Uh, we are in the number two. So there is one there, two, and then goes all over there and... Well, ours, I guess, is facing more uh, dense forest and they are all the time there, like, if behind the mm. trees. So we see them all the time, like, going back and forth. And then sometimes they come, uh, like, closer. Here. Yeah. And then it seems like they have a... I would call it ritual. <laughs> How they kind of, like... Um, walk and at what time so yeah yeah we sp uh, spent hours last night uh, trying to look at them Tina has better eyesight than me but I was checking on the well the camera and I could see them more it was super nice like they were a bit around a bit hidden in the woods it's beautiful and even if they are hidden in the wo woods um, I uh, I could see their eyes mm. like Red. Uh, shining. No, some of them I uh, they were like more uh, like uh, greenish, mm. really reddish. And then you just see like uh, two uh, green dots like in the woods. So that was also cool. Mm. And super nice that they are howling a lot. I think that's the term. Mm. Last night there was a, they, they did it a lot. Uh, this morning too. Uh, that was our morning alarm. Yeah, we we're in bed. We started hearing that. Super nice. I mean, best way to start the, more, the day. And actually, after when we came to the uh, here to the main room, they were right there. Actually, in the woods, uh, still a bit uh, kind of resting or sleeping, or laying, a bit together. Uh, was really really nice. Well, here we always see um, four of them together, so we think they are family. Yeah. Uh, because there is a. Well, light, I get it. Um, yeah. Here are. Here it's a. That's the whole wolf pack. Uh, so European wolf. It's actually ten of them now because there are two cubs. And I think uh, yeah. family is actually the alpha male, alpha female. female. And Oops, and uh, Pearl, and then those two cups. So they are always mm. together, like, and they're moving. And the rest of them, they are kind of like, um, yeah, everywhere. Yeah, and, and it's true that uh, Oops, you can really like uh, notice him because of the bended ear. Yeah. Yeah, it's the only one that has that. So, hmm, they are young actually. Born uh, 2018 and Pearl 2019. Yeah. And then now two new ones born uh, this year because the cubs are, I mean, the cubs, the teenager, are six months old. Ah, uh, you have two 2020 and two 2018. Three. Ah, three 2018, uh, three 2019, two 2020, and now 
uh, two more 2024. So yeah, but the whole experience really nice. Uh, well, the fireplace works like a charm. Uh, was really cool. Almost didn't started last night, but we managed. <laughs> this morning also. Uh, well, what did, did what did I use? Uh, bark. Yeah. Yeah. Found some bark because we didn't have a little woods. Made a lot of smoke, but it worked. And now it's super nice and warm. Um, the bed was super comfortable. I mean, the whole place is really comfortable. Uh, super nice. We love the idea and the thing that they are actually delivering the food uh, to the lodge. It's really cool because you're flexible with the time. Yeah, and you really spend time actually in the lodge as a whole thing. So food was really nice. Uh, we love the vegetarian option we got, so it's super cool. First little soup. Vegetable soup, super nice. Big soup. Big soup each year. And then quinoa with also vegetable. Super yummy. And then what do you eat for dessert? Chia, oatmeal, the coconut. Um. And I had some kind as well. How would you say what they actually? Just below the image. With a chocolate stick? And mm, some kind of soya, hot chocolate cake. Mm. It was also super duper yummy. So Tina, how is the night going on? <laughs> Hi. Well, but what about the wolves? From so many wolves. Mm, super cool. Next door in paint. Super hard to spot them, but Tina has eyes finical. <laughs> so she was seeing them, I was jumping on the camera. It was amazing. And that was the second time during the night, uh, third time since we are here, that they are whole group holding. Did it? Holding. Amazing. It's like, a, uh, it's like they are singing. And as there are many, many wolves, wow, super cool. morning they delivered breakfast at 8 15 so even before yeah even before really french breakfast but yeah it was okay and uh, still cool because you still again eat in the lodge <laughs> breakfast delivery <laughs> so what do we have Ooh, fresh, really baguette. fresh baguettes <laughs> orange, orange juice freshly squeezed <laughs> coffee Freshly made <laughs> and cheese mm -hmm. from a fresh milk. Petit pain chocolat. Yogurt. Mm -hmm. huh? Orange and apple. And some jam. And some jam. Cut. Mirabelle. Mirabelle de Lorraine. Oh, it's really local. Mm -hmm. But of course. Mm. Cool. And more butter. And more butter. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Perfect French breakfast. Oh, yeah. With the perfect view. And. Actually, there are lots. Off. Here is the map of all the lodges. There are tons of them. Yeah. And yeah. It's actually really nice. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I will put it a bit bigger. 
when I edit. But yeah, they are, well, you can sleep with uh, a lot of uh, type of animal here. I think not a lot. You can sleep with wolves, well, with pandas, like red pandas, uh, with uh, after, after ears. Wolves is a big thing because you have three different type of uh, lodges for the wolves. Where we, are where we are here, and then you have uh, those one. Those are black. The Yukon, uh, yeah, Yukon Lodge. Here it's uh, Amarok Lodges. So uh, this is a different type of wolves. Do you sleep with white ones? I don't think so. No, white one you cannot sleep. I think with them. And maybe actually here in the Yukon one because there is a white wolf in that uh, pack. And if no, then yeah, if no, you have like a few cabins, but uh, like with the red panda. But I don't think you sleep really with the animals. Ah. But you st you sleep nearby where actually they are. But the cabins we saw them yesterday, they look also really nice. And then okay, you have the coyote a barn. Uh, you have one with the black bear that I think also really nice. Um, and then, Ah, and you have another one also with the wolf here. Yeah. This one, so you have four, there are a lot with the wolf actually. That uh, Daniel, yeah, Jack London, so yeah. Like, uh, and those are really like wolf. unique cabin because they are only one of each. And some uh, of them, they have jacuzzi. Yeah, ah, yeah, it's here. So you really sleep inside actually, the enclosement. So yeah, it's really nice. And after the whole park, it's quite big. So here is I'll also like edit it later. Well, oh well no, they're not coming anymore. So it's been what now? 45 minutes. We just we're just seeing them like in the background, but not. So you have different color of the trail. Well, basically, yesterday we really stay in this area in the evening here, and well, for the second day today we we'll visit all the blue area. So yeah. There yeah, was really a lot to see. We loved yesterday the prairie dog. <laughs> it was super fun because <laughs> you can go in the, inside their uh, park. I don't know. <laughs> and they are really fun. But it's, uh, yeah, the whole park is super cool, especially if you have kids. That's like, uh, I mean, we are only two adults and one little uh, baby inside Tina. But we love it. Cheers! Complimentary tea or coffee to start the exploration of uh, Saint Croix Park. Lunchtime, picnic in the farm. On that side, there are two huge kind of piggy, a super cute goat. <laughs> there are the gooses. <laughs> no? Goose. 
You are there on the geese. Excuse it. Here is Tina, the English teacher. There is Milo, all tucked in. She had for herself quinoa and Brussels sprout salad. And I had quinoa and bean stew. And it's gonna be soon time to continue explore. So yeah, it's cool. And also like when you come here, it's really nice. We check in at 2.30 uh, and well, they basically brought you here on an electric golf car. The woman who brought us here, the receptionist was super friendly. She explained a lot, gave us like some tips, like uh, at night she recommended to go see the feeding of the white wolves at uh, 4 p.m. And from like a viewpoint that is nearby, she said the, the one that's closer, it's nicer because uh, it's less crowded, it's more secluded, and it's, you don't need to walk on the other side of the park. And from there you go after to the gray and black wolf, and then they're also be being fed right after. So it was really cool. And yeah, so after a little walk around, and yeah. So all in all, super nice. And Number two. Oh, hi. Welcome in our a unique accommodation. Le Hameau des Loups. So let's start. Here is the first room for the kids. So there are a total of three rooms in the accommodation. Uh, we'll only be needing one. Uh, but yeah, the you cannot get that, but the smell, it's amazing. Like, smells like wood, it's super nice. Let's continue in our big corridor with the master bedroom that is super nice with a beautiful view of the forest where uh, big grey wolves are, well, are living actually. Uh, apparently the best time to see them through here, it's in the morning. So we'll see tomorrow morning and it's super well made. If I can open that, everything is well, super nicely integrated. How is the bed? Ah, it's cold here. And the view, I, uh, I hope tomorrow morning we wake up there. there. <laughs> we'll see if we are lucky. Because uh, wildlife spotting, uh, it's not the thing we do best and where we have the most luck. Let's continue. Here is our bathroom for the night uh, super big super spacious where well, it's made for six well we have bathrobes air dryer everything we need towels it's really warm in here <laughs> 
super nice. Shower is on the other side. You can go. <laughs> <laughs> I love like uh, how everywhere they, uh, the lightning is made with small LED strip. Also on the ceiling here, everywhere, it's super nice. It's really cozy, super well made. Well, here is toilets. Something that doesn't need description. And then the best part, the main living area. On the left side, on the right side. The lounge on the other side the kitchen it's beautiful and well the whole reason why you come here it's like mostly for this one because here you can see the walls uh, now it's middle of the afternoon so it's too soon for them uh, mostly they are sleeping at the time but we spotted a few of them already walking well in the woods so we couldn't really see them uh, we'll have no many more chance this evening so what works to attract them is uh, turn on the light there at night because it's dark so they may come uh, to put a stuffed animal somewhere here. Oh, actually if you have a baby, a baby crawling, it's really uh, what, will make them, what will make them come. Here is the list of all the wolves. The alpha male is this one, alpha female is that one. Apparently this one is the easiest to spot because he has a bendy ear. All right, and the rest of our living area, two chairs, a fireplace tonight that you will light up, little uh, lounge area, always with a view. The kitchen, uh, so when you stay here, uh, dinner and breakfast are included. And they will deliver, well, we, we choose breakfast online, or either when we arrive, they confirm what we choose. And then they deliver it during the afternoon, around five, and you just reheat it with the microwave. That is here, super nice, convenient. They had good choice, it was, they had meat, uh, fish, and even a vegetarian vegan option. Well, it's well-equipped kitchen, complimentary coffee, tea. All right, mini bar, fridge, and our outside living area terraces with also a viewpoint that we may not use too much and of course it's forbidden uh, to feed the wolves the lady who throws the place she said that some people are apparently uh, feeding them the ham that you can have for breakfast and that's not to do you don't feed the animals And we forgot something. Come back in. There is a first floor with the third bedroom. Let's get to it. Oh, it's super cozy. All right, so single bed, <laughs> but it's super well made and what a view. <laughs> super cool for a kid or even an adult. All right, and that concludes our tour of uh, Le Hameau des Loups, room number two. And for this special occasion, I don't know if you have noticed, but I have my hiking Wolfy t-shirt. Bye bye Wolf Samlet. It's a beautiful day, surely. Come and bring tree drivings. With the flowers and everything. <laughs> yeah. 
time to go explore the part, the blue trait that you didn't do. Talked with someone that was staying in the lodge number one. They saw them really close yesterday, but uh, not too much in the morning. So we were really, really lucky. Better to stay, I guess, in the middle than on the edges. Little checkout gift. 